Hello everyone, in the following tutorial, I have worked in collaboration with another Revit channel, that Bimboy. The link to that channel is given in the description box. Don't forget to check that channel as well for more Revit tutorials and also the part 2 of this tutorial is available on the channel of that Bimboy. In the part 1, I have created the adaptive component where in the, whereas in the part 2, the other channel has created the DOM with the help of this adaptive component. Now let's start with the part 1 of this tutorial. But before we start, let me remind you to like and share my videos, leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel. And also if you have any kind of difficulty or query related to Revit, you can ask me anytime. So now let's start with the tutorial. Open new Revit family file of generic model adaptive. Go to floor plan and draw a grid with the help of this line command. I am going to create a grid of 2 feet by 3 feet 6 inches. Make sure that the grid is equal. The size of the grid depends upon the size, uh, depends upon the dimensions of your design. Even though the dimensions are not exact, it will automatically adjust once you have placed them on the uh, DOM. For that, you have to uh, Visit part 2 of this tutorial. Now select this point element, make sure drawn work plane is selected and then place these points as shown in the video. Now select this line, model line, make sure 3D snapping is checked and connect these points as shown in the video. Now delete these grid lines which we have previously drawn as we don't need them anymore. Now add another point element at this intersection point. Delete these lines which you have just drawn. Now select both of these lines and give it an offset of minus 4 feet. So now they are below 4 feet as compared to other reference points. Now again select this line, make sure 3D snapping is on and connect these points as shown in the video.
now one by one select all these points there are total of nine points which constitute this component and after selection click on make adaptive now you can see that there are little numbers written on each of these components make sure they are in an exact in an in an in an in, an, in a sequence so that when you place them on the dom there is no confusion because they should be placed according to their uh, numbering now again select the point click on draw face place it on the line then select the reference plane to this point and then draw a circle of four inches radius then select the circle and the lines with the help of with the help of tab button and then click on create form repeat this process on all of these lines one by one now select all of these surfaces which we have just drawn move the pointer on this surface then press tab button on the keyboard and then click on it by pressing the control button in this way select all of these parts and then provide a material parameter to it. The component design is now complete. If you want to add uh, more components or more type of or multiple designs in the DOM, then you have to make more components. Now in the part two of this video, which is available on the channel of that BIMPOI, you can learn that how to place this component on the DOM or how to create a DOM with the help of the adaptive component. 
I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, goodbye and take care. And most importantly, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tutorials.